Hello, everyone. This is Christine Till, the Marketing Mentress, and I have a tip for you today. And this is kind of one of my pet peeves because I've been working with people, helping them to strategize LinkedIn and, and use LinkedIn to attract great clients and customers for their business. And I just wanted to give you a few pointers this morning on how to attract. This is part of attracting people. Once you get your profile set up and you start reaching out to people to connect with people, they're going to start checking you out. And what they see, you only have three seconds to make a great impression, a great first impression. And if you lose them in three seconds, they'll never come back again. So this is really important. Please listen up. Number one, you do not set up your profile like a company page. Number two, you do not use full body shots. And number three, you do not put pictures of your favorite car or a waterfall. And number four, you do not put a picture of you when you were four on there. LinkedIn is not Facebook. So let's go with number one here. Number one, you, you don't put your logo on there because this is a profile about you. Your profile is about you. And remember, LinkedIn is not Facebook. So you want to make sure that you have your LinkedIn set up professionally and you have a headshot on there that everybody will be impressed with. You want to shine, make your best impression. Facebook has what you call business pages. Those are free. LinkedIn has company pages and those are also free and they're similar to each other. And it's, that's where you set up your logo is on there. Um, or you can get a special designed background banner that has your logo in the corner or some, something on that for your profile. But your, your profile needs to have a professional headshot. And number two, not a headshot that is, so, that is a full body. Because when you do a full body headshot, you're coming through as teeny, teeny, tiny, and they can't see your face. People need to see your face in order to decide if they want to do business with you. That builds, it's part of building that know, like, and trust. And another thing is people want to take pictures sometimes of the side, their profile, just the side of their head. And people don't relate to that. They need to see your eyes. They need to see your eyebrows. They need to see your mouth. <laughs> and, it, and so you want to make sure that you give people every opportunity possible to build that trust with you. So then number three, I can't remember what all my numbers were. Uh, that is where you put something up that's, um, that's perhaps not... Um, professional. So if you're a garage mechanic, you probably want to have a dress shirt, wear a dress shirt, and, and, and maybe a blazer. Uh, you, you don't have to wear a tie. And so you wouldn't go and get a, go to a networking meeting in your dungarees or your overalls, right? You wouldn't come up from under a truck and wear your greasy overalls to a networking meeting. Well, that's what this is. This is a huge networking room. And you want to make sure that you have the best foot forward, so to speak. And that you have a smile. Like, who wants to do business with somebody with a brownie face, right? They, my mom used to say to put on a smile. And, and it made really good sense. And I noticed... Uh, as I grew up, that when I smiled and walked into the room, I attracted more people to me. But when I didn't smile and I walked into the room, maybe I had something on my mind and wasn't really in the space of networking or meeting people. And everybody left me alone. <laughs> so remember to smile in your headshot. And so here's another one that I think this was number four. Uh, putting a picture of a waterfall or your favorite car or whatever. Remember, this is not Facebook. This is professional. And you want to make sure that you put yourself your best foot forward. So I want to give you a few tips here about how to do headshots and what to wear in your headshots a little bit more. 
I know there are some cultures that really believe in facial hair. However, on LinkedIn, when people are wanting to do business with each other, there is a subconscious thing that goes through our minds. If, when they see a man with facial hair, they tend to think, I wonder what that person's hiding from me. And so they tend to hold back from doing business with that person. So, and then, then with women, watch your necklines, keep your necklines up. <laughs> and if you're wearing a skirt, knee length. Now I'm going to tell you a little story of an experience I had with somebody on LinkedIn. Um, one of the gals I was connected to, she was complaining to me about how she was getting hit on by men. And I looked at her headshot, beautiful, very attractive woman. And she had a full body picture of her sitting on a chair with her knees crossed and a slit up the side of her beautiful suit that went about two thirds of the way up her thigh or maybe a little bit more. And she couldn't understand why she was getting hit on all the time because she said, I'm dressed very professionally in this picture. And I said, yes, but you're exposing too much skin. I said, both men and women are not going to do business with you because it gives the wrong connotation. It doesn't give a professional connotation. And she, she said, well, I should be able to wear whatever I want to wear and they can all control their eyes. <laughs> I said, uh, it doesn't really quite work that way. People look at you right away and they decide within three seconds whether they want to do business with you or not or whether they want to know more. If you walk into a networking meeting and you have that skirt with the big slit up the side, sure, it looks great, but people are not going to be attracted to that. And so those are just some key tips that I wanted to share with you today because you want to brand yourself on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is professional, like I've said several times in this video. And so you need to think professionally you're branding yourself on LinkedIn and what people see in the first three seconds is so important. If it's not meeting professional standards, they will pass you by. And even if you reach out to try and ask to connect with them, they will pass you by. They will not accept a connection request. I'm Christine Till, the marketing mentress. And I look forward to having chats with you. If you've got questions or want suggestions, about LinkedIn and how to use LinkedIn, I would love to help you. And I look forward to our chats. Make it a great day.